Jennifer Meckles is out there on the west side of town on the west side of the hogback, which is where the fire started and Jenny where Highway 93 is still close tonight. Yes, it is. There's still quite a few emergency vehicles out here tonight, guys, but it's a really different scene than what we saw earlier in the day with the really high winds and the urgency and the smoke billowing over the hogback tonight. Quieter. Yes, people are still here working, but the winds have died down. A lot of the crews responding have gone home. Even the smell of smoke and the dust in the air is is much, much lower at this hour. But there were a lot of really worried people today, whether it was folks driving along 470 looking at this or even the neighborhoods that were under pre evacuation orders for a while. The first thing I thought of is it truly smells like a smoke pit out there. Smoke from the hogback fire was visible all afternoon from Camille Assassin's driveway. So we're on a pre evacuation notice here in the Soltera subdivision, which I can say I have never in my lifetime ever had anything like this before. So they got to work. First, the four legged kids. <laughs> Snickers was, was the first on the pre evacuation list. The human kids were luckily already at a sleepover, so Camilla and her husband started checking off the pack list. And so I was literally going around the house videotaping everything just to make sure for insurance purposes we have everything kind of cataloged. Um, you know, I'm wearing all of the jewelry I think that I own <laughs> on my hands because I didn't know what else to do with it. And then, you know, getting um, getting passports, licenses, getting enough clothing for like two or three days. This might be the last time that we see things in our house, right? So just trying to think, okay, what would it be that would be really important to me? Like my mom's ring. You know, those are the types of things that are kind of going through your head, which is really kind of wild to think about, I, I think. Wild. That was one way to describe what drivers saw along C-470 Friday afternoon. And of course, let's talk about those winds. Yeah, well, my car has been rocking, so I decided to pull over and watch and see what happens. Oh yeah, my car was all over the place coming down. I was going to the gym earlier today and I got like blown across the parking lot trying to go in the gym. Everyone's making jokes about it, but as long as everyone's staying safe, that's good. Being an ER doctor, I think I always sort of prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Um, that's probably my, you know, sort of motto for life <laughs> in a lot of ways. To Camilla, safe means ready because visible from her house is just too close to ignore. And if we're prepared, we've got the dog, we've got the you know luggage, we've got our um, you know our car packed with our all of our valuables and we don't need it. That's OK. You know what? Tomorrow morning we'll unpack. But at, at this point, it's better to be safe than sorry. We're very close to Red Rocks here tonight. There was a concert scheduled for this evening that had to be canceled. I've been following that artist on Twitter today, guys, Dabin. He's been looking for a last minute smaller venue and just tweeted recently that the Temple Nightclub in Denver is going to let them perform tonight. Again, much smaller capacity, though. Oh, wow. Way to see him rally and make yeah. sure not to disappoint the fans. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Jenny, thank He's you. He's trying. He's trying. Definitely.